I didn't know how else to deal with that other than cry. Yeah, it was. this was just another level. The whole month was very unforgiving. Phoebe's, Jake's and the business's toughest month in business. That is what we are covering today. It's part of the reason that we wanted to yeah, talk about this on camera is so that we can always look back and realize what we went through and what we were able to get through as a business and as a team. We'll look back at this video and use it as a reminder and I hope in some way it is of help to you when you're going through challenges in your business. Just to get you prepared for what you're about to hear, you're about to hear the story of a month at Foxy that included the firing of a staff member, floods, staff away with COVID, a flat battery on the truck, a broken clutch in the same truck, Evie being born, property issues, issues, a glass table exploding and injured staff, car crashes and staff resigning. So let's now go to the warehouse to hear Phoebe and Jake talk us through their toughest month in business. Go. Can I go now? <laughs> hey guys, all right, so this week on Foxy TV, we are looking back at the month that Evie was born, which was an awesome, amazing month as far as family went, but it was an absolute shocking month as far as the business. You were gonna swear then, weren't you? <laughs> no. Tough, it was our tough, toughest month yeah. I think we've ever had in yeah. our business it was a time. It was a good month for the business in terms of how much we got done yeah. and what we achieved, but at the time, uh, and even now, a couple of months later, it still feels like the toughest month we've had. It's funny, people say, oh, at least you got through, like you got through, I'm like, oh man, I got through with so much more grey hair. So much more grey hair. So let's talk about it. So Evie was born on March the 31st, and we spent Pause. Oh, March the 30th. 30th. Ah! <laughs> good stuff. <start. laughs> Ali was born on the 31st of October. <laughs> Four children, it does it to you. Um, okay, Ali, no, Evie, oh man, <laughs> was born on March the 30th. We spent the five months before she was born getting the business ready for me to be able to go and have a good couple of months off and then also for Jay to be able to spend time at home with our small family given that I was having a C-section and was basically incompetent for a while. So we bought mm -hmm. on people that could do all my phone calls, we bought on new stylists, we bought on more guys in the truck. There was no need for us to be here, just to preempt all the uh, preparation or, or everything in. that we needed to do or our involvement could be done from home or outside yeah. of ours so we, we'd still be involved like yeah. it was never that we were not going to be involved at all it was that we could do it outside of ours and, and from home yep yeah. i'm just going to preempt every uh, preface everything so the week before evie was born yeah. we let one of our stylists go um, it was a relationship that we'd had for quite a long time and it just started not we sort of sort of falling out of sync with one another we let it go as soon as as long as we could and unfortunately we did have to make that decision to let her go before the week before evie was born so we're down one stylist on top of that during this peak the time we were we were busy we were two trucks each truck was five installs every day plus five pack ups we were fully not, not each truck we were doing five installs a day across the business plus pack ups oh yeah so, yeah yeah important way to phrase it yeah so fully booked basically is what i need you to take out of that monday rock up lots and lots of rain our very first job of the day the team rocks up with a one hour time slot and they couldn't do it in the one hour time slot it took them two and a half hours to get the install done so that was just like the kicker for the start of the day on top of it we had two of our staff members call in sick with covid already down a staff member down another stylist down a removalist one of the removalists who is walking upstairs right now this so happened to be one that is one of our drivers and one of our loaders so we actually only have three of them who can drive and load plus jake's our backup so keep that in mind as i continue on with our timeline three staff down i had to do an install two days off having a baby i'm out on site doing an install jake did most of it i sort of directed he but... sat down and told me what to do <laughs> and got in trouble when i stood up yeah that was a hard day that that Monday that was sort of was like okay we're through it so we should be fine. We got, Cody, to, yeah, we got to the end of that day. Well, no, like, we, no, we didn't. Well, no, that was, was more. The, yeah okay, but we kind of got through that and we started feeling like all right, we can now yeah like take ourselves back a bit and the biz, like even with those people out, we kind of had a plan and, yeah. and we were going to be okay. So we're reflecting on the day at home because Cody came to stay at the house that night. And uh, Cody got a phone call from Talia that Talia had tested positive to COVID. So off Cody went to quarantine for a week also. So down another staff member who, who was an on-site on -site all the time, but he's a backup when we have other site people out. So our backup was gone. So Tuesday rolls in um, and we get a flat battery out on site. The truck fully loaded to go to the next job out in Springfield Lakes. First job of the day and it is dead. It is not going anywhere. Uh, also still raining. The Wednesday, Evie's born on the Wednesday. The whole idea was that I had my phone off that day, but I was literally sitting in the hospital, have had my rat test to have be um, admitted to the hospital. I was getting ready to get gowned up to go and have my C-section, and I was booking in a job. One of our real estate agents who we do a lot of work for, there was miscommunication. She thought the job had been booked in. She thought her client had called to book it in, and it hadn't been booked in, so we had to make it work. I'm literally sitting at the Mater Hospital, 
doing selections to make sure that this job went ahead and happened. So, and then the next day, the girls have another job booked in. We had six installs go in that day and we only had three stylists. That was a nutcase day. That was the yep. day that I was chatting to Cam about. Also, uh, I really overdid the truck. Over, it doesn't happen very often, but I thought the truck could fit on far more than it could. So the truck ended up having to go back and forth. The stylist had to go back and forth and they didn't finish until yeah. six o'clock that night. Um, that was a crazy, crazy day. And then we had Evie. On that day. On yep. the 30th of March. So we get to the Thursday. The Thursday we have a full truck loaded, uh, ready to head into do another install. We rock up, the property is not ready. The guys have had to come back and unload a full truck. Get to the Friday, we had a glass tabletop explode. Which has only ever happened once before now. Fallen down the rest of the stairs, so it's inside the property. The uh, the new buyer was what, half an hour away. Yep. They were coming the to inspect it or you know, come and have a look at the, the property. Uh, and Cam's got cuts and Cam's some, a big know, baby and bleeding. he's all blood and he's no good. <laughs> so hopefully Cam doesn't watch this. <laughs> um, I hope he does. <laughs> Clean yep. up, you know, figuring out what we need to do to make sure Cam's okay and got the buyer coming through and all of that craziness. That was the week. That was the We're week. We're only one week born. in. Um, <laughs> next week we roll in, we've got another COVID case. So John was off for the week. So that's a week and he ended up being away for two full weeks because he was quite sick. Uh, also happened to be school holidays. And by that point we were at home. So we've got Phoebe and Evie at home. You know, you, you're not all that mobile. And we've got the other three kids at home. So it was, we had enough going on anyway, uh, plus all of the, you know, the, the foxy stuff happening. On that Friday, Russ decided, well, and rightfully so, he head to the Formula One. I think that was on the, I think that's where he was going. Um, and Booked in, yeah, yeah. pre-planned. So what had to happen, we were too short staff. I, there was no option. I had to go and do my first install back. Um, week and a half. A week and a half into after I've having it had Evie. I'd been home for four days and I'd had, I did have to go do an installation. I just, I just couldn't cancel on a client. We have committed and I don't want to let them down. It was the way around it. I had amazing staff who we were able to do most of the install under my direction. Um, and then we were able to finish it off, making it look amazing and it sold very well at auction. But it did mean I compromised how long I was supposed to be staying at home. Let's roll into week three and throw in another case of, uh, case of tonsillitis and another two COVID positive tests in the team. <laughs> We went back and counted, I can't remember exactly, but it was either two or three days out of the whole month where we actually had all the people who were planned to be at work were there. But that period of time, there was not one morning that I woke up and didn't roll over with dread to check my phone because I knew every single morning there was going to be a sick call. And that is incredibly hard as a business owner. Um, just, I, there were days that I had to redo the schedule four times. We're having to change and cancel and redo the logistics and the impact of sick leave was significant on our team during that time period. People can't help but be sick. And COVID, having to quarantine and knowing people out for a whole week, it's things that we couldn't help. We're the sort of business where, like you said, flexibility is a big thing for us. So we're um, rejigging our truck run. You know, a lot of days anyway, things change. Yeah, it was, this was just another level. And trying to rewrite stock list, you know, the guys trying to load the truck but not being able to get the right information because we didn't know if jobs were locked in for sure. And yeah, it was just a lot up in the air. That week, Elise, who's my PA, she just resigned. <laughs> the week after she was born. The week yeah. after Evie was born and she's, sent me a message saying, hey, can we chat? And that's the worst message ever as a boss. <laughs> and big spoiler, we've managed to find a way to make it work. So at least does now work remotely. Um, she's based in Melbourne and she's absolutely amazing and the role works perfectly. But at the time, uh, for hormonal field new, mm, I say new mother even though I've got three, I didn't know how else to deal with that other than cry. I, I just cried the whole day, right? I was a bit of a mess. Yeah, it was a tough one. So that, that week, that was pretty tough. Uh, we then had, had a car accident and rode off our car. The truck also decided that it was going to give way and uh, this is, the clutch. This is probably, yeah, right at the end of the yeah. month, so. The clutch yeah. gave way, um, so the truck went. Bruck, breakdown. It was just one of those times where every day there just seemed to be something, whether it was, you know, something because with the staff, you know, somebody being sick or not able to make it, um, or something to do with the job where we either loaded a truck and we get there and they're not ready for us, or there's, you know, there's furniture to move that we weren't expecting and that throws out the rest of the day or lots of truck issues. It just seemed and to even be... At, even at home, like things like I know every working parent would have gone through in Queensland. School's back. Yay, that's fantastic on the Monday. Oh, actually, sorry, school's closed because we're going to get some storms. So had to work around having the kids at, again and then it didn't even rain. Or like I got another infection after I had um, Evie and ended up back up at the hospital. So things like that, just that whole... <laughs> The whole month was very unforgiving, um, but it does make us stronger. 
So part of the reason that we wanted to yeah, talk about this on camera is so that we can always look back and realize what we went through and what we were able to get through as a business and as a team. And we didn't let anyone down. And yeah. every single job had fantastic feedback. So we didn't, we didn't compromise on our output. The outcome was still great. The staff were still very, very hard worked, but they were still great. And um, well, they all we came just, together as well. Yeah, that's like, right. When somebody's sick or somebody's got COVID, everybody knows that there's nothing you can do about it other than put a smile on and get on with it. And that's, yeah. that's what everyone did. I know a lot of um, business owners are in the same boat with, with the sick leave thing, but that was our crazy time. But we got Evie. On the 30th of On the 30th March. of March, we got Evie. <laughs> <laughs> and we're complete. Our family is so complete. No one needs to ask me. And again, if I'm having five children, the answer is no. Very much no. Correct. Thank you for watching and I hope you were able to take something away from this episode. Of course, everyone and every business goes through tougher times and it's how you uh, react to those and how you learn that really matters. I have a bunch of footage from this last week, including Phoebe speaking at an event, Jake running through the business numbers for the financial year and our new staff games room. But I'm going to save those for a future separate videos coming very soon. I wanted this episode to be able to stand alone. So keep an eye out for them, uh, as I mentioned, coming very soon. That is it, thanks for watching.